Hey what is up guys, it's Casey here, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a really easy simple shirt on Roblox. So you're going to want to go to your search, and search up photopia.com, just like that, the link is in the description. Okay, now it should look like this, don't click on anything yet, it might take you through a tutorial, I don't remember, but it should look like this. Now what you want to search up is Roblox Shirt Template Create Shirt. Go to Images, and it should be the second one. Now, when you see it from here, it should look white, but then when you click on it, it should have gray and white checkers. And it should be 585 times 559. Now right click, left click on Copy Image, and go back to Photopea and Control V. Paste that in there. Okay, now we need a color for my shirt. Or your shirt. So, we're gonna search up. Uh, blue background. I guess, that's good. Okay, now you can choose anything you want. Now, right click again, go to Copy Image, left click, and Control V again. Okay, now it might look like this, or it might look like this. So, you need this to cover the whole screen. So what I want to do is go up to Edit, left click, and then hover your mouse over Transform, and you'll see these options. Now go to Scale, and with these boxes, make it so it covers basically the whole screen and you can't see the checkers anymore or else there will be really weird looking holes in your shirt okay I'm going to go back up to my move tool and now what we're going to want to do is go over to the right left click and hold and drag it under background now I'm going to release and it should look something like that. Okay, now what we're going to do is go up to the left corner, go to Rectangle Select, and left click and hold again. But this time, we're going to do it all across the bottom because these are the hand holes, I guess you'd call them. Okay, now release and it should look like this. Now what you want to do is Control X. Okay, and say if you mess up, so you accidentally just put a big hole right there. My internet just went out. Okay, I remade this shirt again. So rectangle select, and make sure you have it selected on layer 1, because that's the blue. Okay, now we're going to make a hand hole. Drag it all across here, and control X. Now, I don't, I think that's a little too, uh, big, so I'm going to go up to the top right corner, and I'm just going to keep clicking on these until the blue comes back. Okay. Now I'm gonna do it right about here. And there, that looks perfect. Okay, so, now what we're gonna do is add a neck hole so go up to the rectangle select right click and go to ellipse select now make sure to even this out on the right here as best as you can it's really hard to do uh, just make sure there's an equal part between here and there it's really hard to tell that doesn't look quite that good so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put uh, anything basically I'm gonna just literally put this Instagram logo right here now you might be confused why I'm doing this, but it's to center out the neck hole, and I'll show you what I mean. So when you're putting a thing, a picture, 
on top of the shirt there will be a red bar as you can see right here and that means you're in the direct center so I'm just going to place that right there so I can tell where the center is okay I'm going to left click and drag and that looks about right now I'm gonna do control X and make sure you have layer 1 selected and there there we go now I'm going to go up to layer 2 the Instagram logo and just delete that because we don't need that uh, and yeah that's basically a really simple shirt you can add something Maybe you want to add a Thrasher logo PNG. Make sure it has the black and white checkers when you click on it. So I'm going to copy this. Go to scale again. Okay, we are just about there, and that looks about right. Maybe I'll make it a little tiny bit smaller. Just a little though, because that actually looks pretty good. Now we're going to use our move tool, move it to a right there about, and there. That's a really simple shirt. And say if you want to make a t-shirt, which I'm going to change it to, right click on the ellipse select and go to rectangle select and make it a t-shirt if you want to. Drag that, clear all that blue out, and there we go. Now I'm going to left click on file and export is, and you got to make sure it's a PNG or it will not work when you upload it to Roblox. So then you save that. Go back to Roblox. And you might have a group. You can create it there. I know I have a group, but I already have a shirt like that, so I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to upload it myself. And I'm going to click on that. Don't mind that. Uh, picture, I was just trolling with that. Okay, now open, and we're gonna name this to Blue Thrasher T. Now it'll take a second for it to show on your avatar because Roblox needs to approve it. That'll take up to uh, 15, 15 minutes probably, maybe 20 at the most. And then you can go to this tool, that gear, and go to configure. You can change the description, and you can put it for sale. You can put it for 5 Robux, or however much you want. And But I'm not going to put it on sale. Okay, I'm going to go back to search, and I'm going to click on it. And you can view it from here, on the try-on. Okay, and there we go. That looks very good. So yeah, if you have a question, comment down below. If you had a little trouble following this tutorial, I'm sorry. I tried the best I can. Uh, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.